This is my customer's current greenhouse, which has been partly ripped apart by the recent storms. Half of it has uh, completely demolished and uh, we're left with part of a greenhouse that's held up by a couple of props. Um, it's all horticultural glass, so first job is going to be to take it all apart um, in a safe way. Um, and it's going to be replaced by a much larger green bug greenhouse, 5 metres by 3.4 wide, so quite a big span on this one. I'm doing it in a coir. Uh, so I have lots of side opening windows and roof windows and, and so on. Um, so yeah, the first job is to try and get this down safely and I've got a skip coming. Uh, it's got a quite a substantial um, steel, well, heavy duty aluminium back on it. Lots of debris to get rid of. And then there's this large, well, this decrepit wall at the side which you're going to try and salvage some of the sandstone bricks from because um, that's used around the garden and this beautiful um, dry stone wall at the back and then the blocks here they can all just be thrown um, and one of the complications of this job is going to be uh, finding the levels uh, for the new greenhouse we obviously want a level interior but uh, it, it steps down into the garden So the idea was to um, remove uh, the structure and then start building up off the existing foundations from the old building. But as you can see, uh, even on this back wall, they're not really foundations at all. They're sort of hollow blocks that have just been put in the ground. Uh, I don't know what's underneath those, but that's not good enough to lay for. So we'll get those blocks out um, and see what's there. And then these retaining blocks, they're not really doing anything either. They just seem to be sat on the ground. So they need to come out and uh, we'll dispose of those, uh, clear up all the glass and then just see what we're dealing with. Um, just lay the, uh, the battens out and start digging trenches for the new foundation. Um, try to find that level point. So, yeah, so now we're beginning to see what we've got here. We've taken out the, some of the blocks and you can see that the interior just seems to have been built up with lots of um, debris or gravel, um, pea gravel. Uh, so I think the thing to do is to, um, I'll take all the retaining blocks out and just start digging out the interior and, and throwing all that in the skip and see what the level point is. It looks as though it's going to be generally level. So um, the blocks are just put in and the interior all filled up to, to meet the height of the, the block that's on the outside edge. Okay, it's about eight o'clock now. Level. So I think what he did, the guy who built that greenhouse before, just basically put some concrete blocks on the floor and then filled it full of um, just tons and tons of uh, oh, pea gravel. Because if you look at the skip now, it's um, completely full. See so, yeah. that? So I started digging out the trenches. I'll start with this, this uh, low, low level one first. That'll be the, uh, the lowest point of the garden. And then get that one leveled out through to the bottom corner and then work my way back up to the rear. Uh, then do the, the back trench and then meet the two together. Um, there may be a step or two, I will see, but um, it looks like we could get it uh, relatively level all the way in one go. Um, you know, it's forecasting heavy rain for the uh, whole of today. It hasn't come yet, so touch wood will be all right. I mean, I can get the foundations in, um, even if it does rain. Uh. Well, the rain was relentless till about half four. Um, and it kept coming back, but I covered over with Hessian and uh, managed to get some bricks up. 
It's about half eight now, so the last few hours have been great. I'm getting on with it. Um, the engineering hasn't gone off yet, so I can't point that up, but the um, the uh, other ones are going really well, the yellow sandstone ones. Uh, so I'll just cover it over with Hessian for tonight in case it gets, comes back with the rain. Um, and then there's about, what is it, five courses to go on this front bit. Um, and I've done three on the back there, so just two more on the back, I think. Oh no. Well, whatever. <laughs> Can you loads of bricks to use up. We'll see what happens tomorrow. It's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. Thank goodness. Okay, it's a, uh, next morning now. It's a, well, it's a sunny day today. Forecast is uh, sunny intervals. So hopefully what I'm going to tend to do is get all the brick laying done. Uh, dig the trench out for the interior raised bed. Uh, put the wall plates on uh, and get the, the front, get the interior leveled out, ready for uh, the uh, lagging out tomorrow. So uh, that's the intention, let's uh, crack on with it. <laughs> 